do? Pause and ask yourself, how can I find the value of x in x plus 2 to the power of 4 equal to 16? If you are given this math question, how do you go about solving for all the values of x? Now let's pay attention as we solve this Japanese mass Olympiad question. Now to solve this question, I'm going to bring 16 to the left hand side. And if I bring 16 to the left hand side, that expression will now become x plus 2 all to the power of 4 minus 16 and this will be equal to 0. Now having seen this, we can simplify. Now recall that if we have 4, which is the power of 4 can be equal to 2 multiplied by 2, right? So I can make that expression to become x plus 2 all squared, right? And all of these will be what? Will be squared, right? If I do it this way, minus 16 is equal to 4 squared, we have 4 squared, and this will be equal to 0. Great. So how do we go about solving this? If you look at this mass expression very well, you see that this is typical of a difference of 2 squared. Now, how do we solve a difference of 2 squared? Remember that if we have a difference of 2 squared, when we have the expression a minus b, a square minus b square, and we are asked to simplify this, this can simply give me a plus b, and then we'll have a minus b. So from this expression, we can simplify this expression to now give me all the values of x plus 2, remember it is square, right, minus, let's go with plus 4 first, and then we'll have the other expression, which is x plus 2 all squared, and this will be minus 4, and all of this will be equal to 0. Great. So how do we simplify this? In order for we to simplify this, we we'll open the two brackets. Now, if we, if we expand this expression, if we expand this expression and expand this expression, we'll have that expression to now give us x squared, right, plus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 2, right, and this will be plus 2 squared, remember algebraic expression, and this will be plus 4 on this side. While on the other side, we are going to, that is on this side, on the other side, we are going to have, still have that expression, x squared plus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 2 plus 4 or 2 squared, which is equal to 4, and this will be minus 4 and all of these will be equal to 0. Now, if we simplify this expression, we're going to have this other side to now give us x square. This is going to give us plus 4x plus 2 square is equal to 4 plus 4. And this other side is going to give me x square plus 4x, right, plus 4, minus 4, and all of these will be equal to 0. So if I simplify this, I'll simply have my x square plus 
4x plus this is going to give me 8 right this is going to give me 8 and that will be an expression on its own while this other side I can have x square plus 4x plus 4 minus 4 is going to give us 0 and then we'll have this to be equal to 0 great now if we simplify this having this 0 product rule we can have uh, this expression so now give me on this side my x square plus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0 and over here we have our x square plus 4x to be equal to 0 so from this expression now we can see that we can use quadratic formula in simplifying these two expressions so if i use quadratic formula i'll have this to become x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac and all of these will be divided by 2a if i simplify that considering my a to be equal to 1 my b to be equal to plus 4 and my c to be equal to 8 i'll have the expression to give me x equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 8 and all of these will be divided by 2 multiplied by 1 now if I simplify this, I'll have my x to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16. And this will be minus 4 times 8 is going to give me, uh, 4 times 8 is going to give me 40, uh, 32 because 8 times 2 is 16. So 16 plus 16 is going to give me 32 negative 32 and all of these will be equal divided by 2. now if i simplify further i'm going to have the value of my x to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of minus our uh, 16 minus 32 is going to give me a negative 16 right because 32 is greater than 16 and all of these will be divided by 2 so from this expression we can find our x to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by the square root of negative 1 and all of these will be divided by 2 our uh, x will be equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 multiplying by the square root of negative 1 according to uh, laws of uh, complex number will give me i and if I divide that this will be divided by 2 so the value of my x here will be equal to negative 4 divided by 2 plus or minus 4l or i divided by 2 so if you simplify this we'll have our x to be equal to negative 2 because 2 here 1 2 here is going to give us 2 same thing goes here 2 here 1 2 here is going to give us 2 and then we'll have minus 2 plus or minus 2 what? 2i. So from here, we can have the value of x in that expression. Now let's go back to the second, uh, the second expression. We have x squared plus 
four x equal to zero. So how do we simplify this? From this expression, if I collect a common term, I'll see that x is common. x squared divided by x is going to give me x, right? And that will give me plus 4x divided by x is going to give me 4. And all of this will be equal to 0. From this expression now, you can see that your x can be equal to 0. Or you have your x plus 4 to be equal to 0. So what do we do here? We've gotten another value of x to be equal to 0. And then over here we'll have our x plus 4 to be equal to 0. If I subtract 4 from both sides, I have my x to be equal to negative 4. And this is a solution. This is a solution. And so we have two real solutions and then two imaginary solutions. So the value of x, you can have our x1 to be equal to 0. You can have our x2 to be equal to negative 4. I have a x3 to be equal to minus 2 plus 2i and then we'll have a x4 to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus this will become minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j and these are the four solution that satisfies that mass expression given to us above there. So you see, it's very, very easy. Solving for the values of x can be very, very easy. When we apply some rules that are the rules of algebra. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified math content. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now.